Hello everyone, in this video we will create an exercise on how to use call method to make a contract interaction and as you can see we have contract A which is empty and we have contract B which is also empty so we will have some functions and variables inside contract A and later we will try to access those functions and variables of contract A from contract B by using call method and to do that first let's put some variables and also a function to the contract A and as you can see it's very simple contract this function is changing the value of this variable and the value of the variable is a, it's a string variable the value is Kızıltepe, a city in my hometown so the contract is as simple as that and we will try to access or better to say we will try to call this function from contract B by using call method okay so let's go to contract B now and let's put a wrapper function here this is a wrapper function the name is not important and you just need to see that we are using two parameters here the first parameter is a string and the second parameter is an address so the string here we will need to, we will need this so that when we uh, access our target function that we can pass a parameter value here okay and the second parameter is an address and when we use call method there is a I mean the, the condition is that both contracts the target contract and also the original contract they must be both deployed to the blockchain once they are deployed to the blockchain we can go to grab the contract address of contract A and we will paste it here so that we later we can access the functions and variables of contract A inside this function so now let's continue on with the call method and here we have uh, a boolean and a bytes uh, variable and call method is returning two things a boolean which is telling us if the call is successful or not and the second thing is some bytes data regarding the function that we call and both of them they're not that they're not important okay you don't need to pay attention to this part but you need to pay attention to, to this part I mean to the right side of the equation and here we need to grab the address of our target contract paste it here and then we will just say call open parenthesis and that's it this is the basic syntax on how to use call on a target contract and here call method is a low-level function and when we deploy contract A to the blockchain the all the code I mean all the strings and functions inside contract A they are converted into bytes and later a file a bytecode file is uploaded uploaded to the blockchain which means that by using call we can access that file which includes all the functions of functions and variables of contract A but in the bytes format okay for that reason we need to know how this function uh, how this function is converted into bytes format by the EVM okay and for that reason we will be using this function here ABI encode with signature somehow it's a bit slow signature yeah and we will open parentheses again and here open some codes grab the name of the target contract paste it open some codes again and inside here we need to if there is a parameter there is there is a string parameter so copy string and paste it here and that's it but of course as there is a parameter here we also need to pass a parameter to this function which means that I will put a comma here and I will grab this uh, function parameter and paste it here and that will complete our call uh, call method okay but of course it's not yet complete and it's not fully complete here I again need to use a require I will say success if not successful then it means call failed and if I now save this there is a yellow warning and to over yet yeah, that yellow warning is not important but if you want to remove that yellow warning you can do something like that you can say bytes public data one 
and here you can go one line down here you can say data one is equal to data that's it now let's save it and that yellow warning disappeared now let's deploy contract B is deployed and now let's go to contract A let's deploy that one also now we can go to contract B and here expand this input area first let's put a city name I will say Lubumbashi and then the address of our target contract copy it paste it here and transact and it's green ticked which means that if I now go to contract A and check the city name you see it became Lubumbashi so at this point I need to mention you two important things in the previous videos you have seen that we have used import and inheritance so when you use import and inheritance it does not change the state of the target contract it changes the state of the original contract but if you use call method you are changing the state of contract A and in the next video we will see how to use interface and I need to say this call method is used to access a specific function of a target contract and interface is used to access a standard function of a target contract okay maybe you don't understand this sentence right now but keep it in mind and watch the next video so that you will understand the difference between call and interface and see you next time bye bye